Hello and welcome to the Craft Beer Corner. For today's beer review, we're jumping into a beer from a brewer. Uh, yet again, I've never tried anything from them. And it's been quite a while, surprisingly, uh, but I'm absolutely ready for one. We're gonna jump into an IPA today. Uh, this is Block 15 Brewing Company. They're based in Corvallis, Oregon. And this beer is called Fresh Flow, an IPA clocking in at 6.5% ABV. So sit in kind of middle of the road. So in terms of label art, it's very brightly colored. It's got kind of a mountain and waterfall scene with an eagle up in the air. Uh, very bright colors, orange, purple, green, blue, all over the place. I like it, very neat artwork. So we're gonna get this one cracked. We're gonna use our nice all-purpose glass, which works very, very well for IPAs. And I have been craving an IPA. Been too long. All right, get this poured. Ooh, nice light color to this one very light nice bright golden color doesn't look like they used much if any kind of caramel malts in here so we're going more of a classic direction it is not having a problem forming ahead in fact quite creamy i'm going to back off i'm not quite going to get that whole can in there but that's okay yeah visually very bright very yellow this one is a uh, pretty hazy i can tell you it's definitely got a haze it's not crystal clear you can see the light but not through it in terms of carbonation, quite active. Uh, most of what I see is very small, tiny champagne-like bubbles, just a few that are slightly larger, but nice, thick, creamy head. Look at that. That could have come off of a tap. Beautiful, beautiful beer. So nice head, beautiful color. Let's get right up over it for a good sniff. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, there it is. That smells amazing. So. This is a nice smelling IPA that kind of has a little bit of everything, all of the kind of subtle nuances. I'm getting tropical fruit notes, melons. I'm getting a little subtle underlying earthiness. It smells really nice. One thing I'm not picking up on the nose is any kind of resinous pine tar-like aromas. This is a very fruit dominant aroma on this beer. Um, pineapple, passion fruit, kind of honeydew, cantaloupe. That's the dominant aromas coming off of this. Even some orange and other citrus like lemony lime. It's kind of a mix of a bunch of different fruit flavor or fruit flavors, fruit aromas, and it smells absolutely fantastic. And then just this underlying subtle earthiness. So I know uh, by looking up a little bit, I don't know the exact hop bill, but I know that they used New England hops. So it could be some of these new high alpha acid content varieties. I guess we'll find out how intensely they hopped this when we jumped in and uh, extracted alphas into the boil, but it looks great. It smells fantastic. Let's jump right in. Ooh, oh man. Oh, that's a very, very tasty IPA. Wow. Mm. Much bigger, much more intense flavor than I anticipated. Uh, big, bold pungency of flavor. So before I get to that, we'll talk about the texture on this one. The body feels almost borderline medium, medium heavy. It is punching way above its weight class. This beer feels substantial in the mouth, almost like a milkshake style IPA, which it's not. But for only six and a half percent, this has a lot of presence to it. The mouthfeel, uh, just as with the body, it's got a lot more resistance to it than you would expect for a 6.5% ABV on an IPA. Agitating around the pellet, feels even thicker, gets very, very creamy, very lush. Texturally and weight wise, this is top notch. I, I am really impressed by what they were able to do in a 6.5% ABV beer. So flavor profile, immediately upon swallowing, you get an intensity of earthy flavor and bitters. There is some underlying kind of almost like a citrus oil and rind like flavors that also pop in. Um, so like these tropical kind of fruit aromas that you got, they don't translate into the flavor. It's very dominant with earthy and kind of citrus bitter like uh, flavors that come through and it's absolutely delicious. 
I know they're from Corvallis, Oregon, but as the first beer I've had from, you know, this brewer, I didn't know what to expect. I know nothing about their IPAs. This could potentially, I don't know how they personally categorize it. For my money, I think it could easily be categorized as a West Coast IPA. This is one of the more bitter forward IPAs I've had in a long time. For just 6.5% ABV, this is absolutely mind-blowingly impressive. What a great first taste of a beer from a new brewer. Uh, that's, that's how to start it off right, this beer drinking relationship. Absolutely phenomenal IPA. So I'm gonna jump back in, I'm gonna let everything re-intensify, point out anything I may have missed, see if there's anything uh, else worth noting in the flavor profile, and then we'll talk about the finish. Absolutely delicious. Just big earthiness earthiness and bitters and citrus oil, citrus rind. On second sip, um, I didn't really get any tropical, tropical fruit flavors coming through on the first sip. On second sip, um, I am picking up some of that subtlety. There is a little bit of a passion fruit like flavor that comes through in tandem with the general earthiness and uh, kind of citrus oil, citrus rind, uh, citrus zest type qualities. But it is overwhelmingly uh, kind of the earthy side of the bitter equation and it's got a nice kick of bitters they are not shy uh, whatever specific blend of hops that they did use in here uh, from new zealand um, they definitely were not shy about uh, putting enough and leaving it into the boil in the right points to extract those alpha acids this is definitely a hop heads ipa for sure um, it might be off-putting if you're not really big into the hoppier uh, more bitter uh, IPA subclasses. Like I would say this really does classify as a West Coast style. If you're not into that, this may not be for you. If you're a diehard hop head, love the bigger, hoppier, bitter, the better. This is definitely one I would, I would put on my radar. Absolutely fantastic. In terms of the finish, it is way longer than I expected for a 6.5% IPA. That's really in the middle range, but maybe it's kind of on the low end of the average middle range. Uh, seven is kind of the Goldilocks right smack in the middle. So we're only talking about half a percent ABV, but the half a percent really does make a big deal. Go from six and a half, half a percent down, that's at six. That's not even a full percent above the average Pilsner uh, ABV range. Say we take six and a half, go up half a percent there to seven. That's the kind of gold standard, but then you start getting into cutoff points for different box and higher ABV styles like that. So yeah, the half a percent doesn't sound like a lot, but it really, really is um, in the grand scheme of things. That's a pretty big deviation, but it's absolutely delicious. The finish on this, very, very, very long. And just as the flavor profile that jumps out at you first uh, is kind of earthiness and bitters and kind of citrus rind and oil, uh, that's what lingers on the back of the palate very, very long on each sip. It is uh, still um, impressing me with just the intensity of these lingering earthy and citric bitters on the back of the palate. It's absolutely delicious. You get a ton of mileage out of each sip. There's a lot of heft, a lot of presence. This is just a well-crafted IPA. I am a massive fan. It had been way too long. What a great first beer from a brewer uh, to try. Absolutely love it. I'm going to take my time sip on this, go up my scores. When we come back, we'll get this one ranked from top to bottom. All right, now that we've gotten to enjoy this beer, we're going to get it ranked. This was Block 15 Brewing Company's Fresh Flow, an IPA clocking in at 6.5% ABV. Block 15 Brewing Company is based in Corvallis, Oregon. So, this was a first beer from a brewer that I have never had in any of their beers prior, and I was absolutely blown away by how incredible this IPA was. What a great first example of what a brewer is about. And, uh, you know, IPAs are all over the board these days. I love them. It's one of my favorite styles. I would say it's probably a multi-tiered tie for second. Barley wines are always number one, but IPAs kind of tied with stouts and porters right there at a close second, but absolutely loved it. 
Um, this was another one of those beers. Here we go again. The, the list of uh, perfect scores gets longer. This did get a perfect score in every category and it was well earned on this one. I mean, I would go just as far as to say for my money, this is about as close to IPA perfection as it gets. Every little thing that they did to this beer, every step of the process, the malts that they cho chose, the hop selection, where they added them in the process, all came out to make just an absolutely top tier, world-class, delicious IPA. Tons of delicious aroma, a bunch of different delicious flavors, a nice kick of hop bitters, a lingering finish, had real presence. This beer had it all and I absolutely loved it. I will be keeping my eyes out for plenty more beers that uh, pop up from Block 15 Brewing Company. Uh, I did get this one from Tavor as I typically do. Uh, absolutely, what a great first example of a beer from a new brewer. Loved it. I highly recommend this one to any hop head. Folks, that's today's review. As always, I do sincerely appreciate you tuning in today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to stay in the loop when our videos go live, just turn on your notifications, hit that bell icon. It's right next to the subscribe button. Until next time, keep it beer, keep it craft. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.